Hi everyone, my name is Linda Gundo. I am the CEO and the founder of Linda's Perfection Creations. Linda Perfection Creations is an event planning and wedding decor company. We cater to small and large events and weddings in and around the Philadelphia area. Some of the services we offer, which is not limited to we do month of coordinations, is where you plan your wedding from beginning to end and then one month before the wedding you hire a planner to finish add the finishing touches on your wedding. Most people call it day of, but it's actually not day of. We do home staging. So if you have your home that you sell in or you have your office space that you want us to stage a location to actually put decor to attract you know, guests and more buyers, we do that for you as well. Or if you just had a chic space in your room, in your office and you want to just turn that space around, we do that. We do full services, we do partial services, we do custom, we do birthday. I try to meet my clients where they are in a stage of the planning. I do high-end wedding. I do low-cost wedding. I do May range weddings because everybody's budget is different. Um, so I don't limit my clients. Um, I know most companies would say, oh, we need a budget minimum. I meet you where you are based on the service you have. If it's fall within my package that I offer, and the price when we definitely high, you know, we cater to that event. Um, today I just wanted to talk to you um, about how things was before the end 2021 and what it is like now in your printing stage. Right now, the weddings and the events are gonna take place in 2022. It's going to be the most we've seen in the past 40 years. And the reason for that was during 2021, 2020, uh, all the wedding that was planned because of COVID, everything was canceled and were rescheduled. More people got engaged. Everybody was on hold. So there's a huge overflow. So if you are planning wedding things that took a little maybe longer time to do or shorter process time to do, now the time takes a little longer, so I just want to encourage all my brides to to be able to secure that perfect venue or be able to get that things that you want. My goal is to help you to make sure that you know the timeline that you are working with now, so you don't be, you know, get stuck in the tracks. So, for example, during twenty twenty one. Um, the minimum time required to book all your wedding vendors was about 10 to 12 months. Um, but right now, because of the overflow, you need to do that at least 12 to 15 months ahead of time. Because a lot of vendors are being booked. I even mean, most of my services now, even though we are in 2022, but I am booked for most of my account on this field for 2023, even going into 2024. So if you want to secure that debt, we recommend that you give yourself enough time to find that perfect vendor because you don't want to go ahead and then they don't have it, especially with your venues. Before you do anything else, I say find your venue, secure that venue, secure your location because without a venue, there's no wedding and you don't want to have your, try to change your time. And another thing I would say, be flexible with your time. Have at least three to four different dates in mind. Just in case something happened, you can go with another day. The more flexible you are, the better option you are. But if you want to stick to a specific date because of, you know, personal reason or because that is meaningful and means something to you, I would say give yourself enough time. Um, another thing is that more big wedding were the norm back in the day. In, in 20, I would say back in the days because it seemed like so forever ago. <laughs> This still can be, but it's just not now. I want now in 2022, you want to focus on the guest experience. It's not nothing wrong with having a big wedding, but you want your guests to have that luxury feels. Guests right now have been stuck in the house while everybody want to go to an event more of like a extraordinary events. They want to dress up. They want that chic. They want that glams and, you know, different feet. And everybody's different. Some people may want it to be simple, but still, you, you want to entertain your guests. You want to treat your guests like they are VIP because they are coming to an event. And now you're playing in the wedding. So invite the people that you really want instead of just inviting everybody because they want to be big and give your guests a more over experience instead of inviting a huge people and then you cannot accommodate it. And then the next thing is that in related to buying your attire, like your the groom's clothes, the bride dress, your bridesmaid thing. Back in 2021 and prior, about 8 to 10 months. Now, you need about 9 to 11 months. 
you want to give yourself a lot of time to be able to do your alteration. Things are being delayed. There's stuff that still hasn't clear. You don't want your dress to not be ready. And I would even say if you can do that a year before, I mean, as soon as you get engaged and when you pass over that honeymoon stage, once you set the date, start looking for your clothes. Because right now, everything is super, super delayed. You don't want things to happen and then in the end, you don't get what you want. And so that want to be my strongest thing. And then sending invitation. My thing with the invitation, I would say, is that invitation mostly, they do about two to three months. Um, right now, I would say do three to four months. Once again, the same facts. Things are, a lot of things are delayed. Everything is pushed back. Um, you want to make sure that, you know, your invitation is set up on time. You want to make sure that you be able to mail it because that's another issue too with the mail system. You might get invitation on time, but some guests, I, there's a couple that I, I'm working with right now. They send a save the day out to a client and to other members of the family. Some people got it early. Some people, as far as, as two months after they send it, they still didn't receive it. So the mail system is messed up. Some people went weeks. So the mail system is really tricky. I would say you want to give yourself enough time to do what you need to do. And another thing is that about two to three months before the wedding, schedule your hair appointment. A lot of beauticians and makeup artists are both. I know there's a makeup artist that I work with and we get her and she's literally constantly booked all the time. And you don't want to not have that slot available. So for ladies, I know we want to get our face beat. We want our hair done. Book your appointment months in advance so that you can do your trial run. Schedule your trial run at least two months before so you can go and see how the style's going to look. And what I normally tell my brides is that I do something, let's say if you're having a girl's nights out or some event, do your trial run to see how it will look on you with your makeup and your face. Or maybe if you're having dinner or something special, just do that so you kind of see how the makeup look. Then you can change certain things and then decide what you like and what you don't like about it. So now, and another thing is that your vows, write your vows ahead of time. If you are writing vows, because you don't want, because the wedding get closer, there's a lot of stress that comes on, a lot of pressure. Give yourself enough time to sit and think about what you want to say, and don't stress about it. Think about the heart. You're always going to marry this person. You know why you love them. Don't know what to it. Take your time. Do everything easy. You know, search deep in your heart and find that one thing. It might be that funny thing that make you laugh or something that get on your nerves. You know, the little things that's important to you. Don't try to go for big and glitz again. Even it's the things that nobody don't understand. Like, I know for me, one of the reasons why I love my husband the way that I do is that he's he's my center. He grounds me. And now when I'm busy and everything is going on in the wars, I feel like everybody's like, he kind of reeled me back to center. He's my peace. Yes, he irks my nerves a lot. <laughs> but I, I love the way that he loves me. And that's crazy. But the way that he show his loves for me makes me love him more. The way he takes care of his family. So little things like that. It don't have to be like, oh, he's this, 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 this. And he's just funny, you know. So little things like that, those are the things you want to think about. One month before your wedding, make sure you get your license. Watch your license. You cannot get married. Um, you want to make sure all your alteration is done. You want to confirm, make sure you got all your sitting tracks done, all your RSVP is done. Whoever is planning your wedding, what are you doing to yourself? Are you having a coronation? Are you having somebody change it over? Make sure you have everything. So that pays sure all your vendor is paid. You don't want to wait earlier to the day than you schedule one month before you shouldn't have anything left. You should have paid for everything and take care of everything. That way you can just sit down and relax and de-stress. You don't want to be stressed on your day of your wedding. But that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please share and like my videos. There will be many more to come. Today is my birthday, but I still took the time to sit there and talk to you guys about this. I have a training seminar class where I teach couple from beginning to end how to plan the wedding. 
so register for the class there's a lot of details and information that you can use and also i have a free 30 minute consultation if you just want to talk to me about your wedding ideas or some of the services that i offer or maybe have any question please don't hesitate to stop by my website is linda perfection creations events.com um, i can also be followed on youtube instagram as linda perfect dot creations events thank you and have an amazing day